darn you cattle, you incredibly annoying creatures that are so hard to keep alive. That said, welcome to episode 1 of Mercer County, where we attempt to keep our livestock livestock instead of dead stock. In case you couldn't tell by the machinery, it is spring. And I just nailed a telephone pole. So much for realism this morning. It's whatever time of day it is. Uh, question though. Oh. Where are my fields? What do I own? Okay, I know the first field I need to go to. Let's get there. Before you guys tell me how bad of a cattle farmer I am and the, that I'm not going to be able to keep anything alive, to you I say, I've watched in his farms his tutorials so we might actually get somewhere with this one let's hope oh i love this disc um uh, maybe not if i dish the room though so we're going to try to get somewhere with this livestock stuff but first i need all my ground tilled up and that is what we're doing today let's get it done by the way thank you guys for all the support we recently reached 28 subscribers and that is super super awesome so hopefully you guys will enjoy more mercer county stuff and uh, the thumbnail on this one, I just happened to be parking my machi machinery in random places and that lined up, so not gonna lie, it was pretty perfect and probably will never happen again. But uh, I'll take the good ones when they come. Next step today is the 4555. Need to get air fired up and ready to go. Maybe. Want some more volume. Here we are. Now, I think this one is going to go down to the dairy, probably. Or the heifer pen. The other farm. We have two, by the way. Um, actually, should I give you guys a machinery tour? I definitely should. Well, guys, as soon as I get this thing down the road, we'll give you all a machinery tour. Just so you guys are aware, I definitely would have put duels on this, but this tractor does a lot more than, uh, disc. Actually, I never intended for it to disc, so that is why there are no duels on this tractor right now. Oh my gosh, the disc looks so big when you don't put duels on the tractor, I hate it. Whatever, it's going to work for now. We'll hire a hand there and uh, we'll get to the machinery tour. I suppose the best way to start is uh, closing out anything we don't need, so it's just the screen. The John Deere 7800 with our 12 row planner here. This is a very nice machine, big fan of this thing, also by Tyson Dennis. So, this whole lap has stuff that's made by him. The guy's awesome. Uh, once again, his uh, 6000 series tractors with the Kloss Tedder on it, and then we have another 6000 series, we've got the blower on it right now. This is the Alice, you know what, actually, why are we doing this? Okay, I've turned my speed down so we can actually walk. We'll just jump in here and look around at everything. We've got our Kilbros uh, little cart here. We've got the, uh, what you call that, TMR, yep, that thing. And we have our John Deere 4040, 40, 40, 40, yep, that one. That number right there. And our feed grinder, which uh, I I call it a feed grinder, but hammer mill sounds cool. So we'll just call it whatever. Scales don't work on that. Uh, we do have our square bale wagon here. And we, oh no, I'm stuck in the wall. We also have our square baler, our rake, which looks a little funny right now for some reason. And our giant New Holland mower, thanks to a couple of guys on the MRG Discord who pointed me the way toward that we have the john deere 466 round baler as well and that's all for this part all right guys now the fun stuff bobcat 863 and brand new release today my gosh is the get get out of my way the t870 bobcat my gosh is this thing a beast it's huge and i want i just want to get in it yep it it's actually really really good it's pretty high quality mod i love it uh, we've got the John Deere 9500 here with the 644 corn head. It's got a hopper topper, all that kind of stuff. And we got a drill here. We've got two choppers. Notice the earlidge header on uh, this one here. We will be doing some earlidge for our kettle. Uh, this is what we use to plow, even though it's a disc. It's kind of weird, but whatever. And we have the John Deere 300, I believe. Yes, 300. Hooked up to our case tractor here. And the thing I've been hopping over the whole time, the Peterbilt bale trailer. Bale truck. It, really not for bales, but it'll haul whatever. And the you know, the blower we already talked about. Moving on, we have our Tempty trailer here. This this right here is a picture that you would put in like a tractor house or something. Anyhow, we've got the Tempty trailer right there. 
Moving over here, we have our semi, which is a Aeromax L9000 with a milk tanker on it right now, and the John Deere Gator. Now, all of you guys know I'm a Ram fan, but the GMC is... Okay, it's good. And we've got the trailer here for it, for cattle, and over here. Um, the Meyer RT620, two of these chopper wagons, very, very nice. And then we got a little New Holland chopper wagon over here, too. That'll be what we use to chop. Alrighty, time to put a little music on in the background while we talk about crop planning. So, I think this field right here, 24, is going to be triticale. Uh, we are going to have grass in this field. That's going to be our, probably our only grass field, honestly. Uh, these two are going to be corn fields. 14 will be silage corn. 13 will be regular corn. Uh, this here is going to be our... Nope, that's going to be our sole bean field. And uh, that will be our seed corn field. This will probably be another corn field. Uh, and I believe that is our plan at the moment. So now we'll turn the music back off and get to start planting. Wait, did I say seed corn? I'm sorry. This is going to be our ear corn field over here. Oh, that tractor sounds sweet. And it got some good angles here. Now let's see what it's going to take to cross this creek. Probably going over here to actually cross the river bridge. Can I turn it all the way around? Okay, good. Either way, I need to... Uh, cheat some stuff here for a second because I didn't buy any seeds. I have a question. Does this planter truly want a no-till actually? Oh my gosh it leaves the bean stubble. That is incredibly sweet. So I actually don't need to disc everything like I thought I did. Whoa. Awesome. It's actually too early to be planting anyway but we're going to go ahead and start. Because you know I, I really don't care that it's too early to be planting. i just ready to get to it. Besides, this is our picking corn, so it can wait a while anyway, till mid or late fall. The 12 rows looking sweet. 12 rows looking sweet, and so is the 7810. Wow, that is amazing that it would just plant right through the bean stubble instead of deleting the bean stubble. I love that. Well, everybody, it's quitting time. Hope you guys had fun. I know I did. We'll finish up in a future video, future episode, because I am having a ton of fun on this farm. Be sure to comment, share, like, and subscribe. Let others know about the channel if you enjoyed it. And uh, we'll see you back next time here on the farm.